Hello there, and thank you for watching the weekend box office report one day late. This is the box office report. That looks better. No, that looks better. No, they both look bad. This is the weekend box office report for February 7th through 9th, 2020. There is only one new movie on the in the top 10 this week. Um, and I saw a movie, which I will describe soon. Uh, but first of all, here's what happened that's new from Warner Brothers, Birds of Prey. Um, and the, uh, you know, something, it's a long title with the words Harley Quinn in it, and apparently the movie's a little disappointing, and so they've made Harley Quinn even a bigger part of the title after the opening weekend. So forget the title, but Harley Quinn is a character in it. Um, and not the Joker, because he's off doing his own movie. Um, anyway, it made $33 million, which uh, they're considering to be a. Eh. Um, but I'm rooting for uh, Harley to come through because we could use more movies about women directed by women, even if they are psychopathic criminals. Um, anyway, it came in at number one. Uh, let's see. What else is new? Nothing. Uh, so I will tell you, though, I saw The Turning, which has actually been out for three weeks. It's from Universal, and um, it doesn't work. <laughs> I, you know something? I don't know why I bothered to mention it now. It's just it's a movie that I kind of like everybody in it, and uh, the, the concept is... They said it in 1993. I don't get that. I don't know why... They didn't either leave it in uh, the 18th century or bring it all the way up to 2020. I don't know. And I'll never know. And neither will you. All right, anyway, that's the top 10. And a movie review. Coming in at number 63, uh, the very bottom of the chart, it's been out for six weeks, from Film Movement, The Advocate. Uh, maybe if it was about an avocado, it would have done better. It made 61 bucks on one screen. Uh, that's your advocate. And then coming a little higher up, uh, number 51 from Oscilloscope Pictures, and I do love, uh, if nothing else, the name of the company. Oscilloscope Pictures brought you, where'd it go? Cane River. This was on two screens, and it made $10,688. Um, and uh, since I don't know anything about it, there's no point in my talking any further. In fact, there's no point in my talking any further. Thank you very much for watching the Weekend Box Office Report. I'll be back next week because, you know, I always am. Bye for now. Let's see if this works. No, it doesn't. Let's see if this works. <laughs>